Hello and welcome ladies and gents to Always Busy Gaming, your destination for discovering new and exciting games. Today on your screens we have the amazing American Circus, the newly released deck builder by Clavator and Juggler Games which gives a unique bohemian twist to the genre. You play as a ringmaster who is keeping his father's legacy alive by running the circus and travelling across the American countryside putting up shows in every town and impressing the different kinds of audiences you meet. Be warned though, the audience have high standards and will constantly be trying to break your focus. Impress them enough that they take their seats by utilizing the unique abilities of the many performers you can hire as you tour the countryside. The game features fully voice acted interactions and side quests which give you unique rewards such as a highly intelligent chicken who happens to be a math wizard. Seriously, where would you find such gems in AAA games? The game has party management elements too such as training your performers, investing in advertisement to boost the turnout for your show, deciding what to feed your circus as you travel and removing negative traits from your performers with the help of voodoo. The game also features multiple soundtracks that really weave the magic of a gypsy life and if you've ever wanted to be part of the circus then this is your chance to experience what circus life would be like. The game has just released and you can check out their steam page from the link given in the description below. Okay so this is episode 6 of the let's play series and if you haven't yet seen the previous episode then you can find episode 5 from the link on the top right corner of your screen. So let's jump right in. But he is a pessimist, decreases the finale values of all artist cards. You know what we need to get that out. Let's go to the voodoo wagon. That's the first thing we do. Pessimist, please delete for a hundred USD allows. You know what? If we have some money to spare, uh, we should probably lock this. We do need cash. We can later on copy it. Let's lock it, I would say. It's like a permanent perk. Okay. Increases the chance of acquiring positive perks. What that means is it also reduces the chance of acquiring negative ones. And it's pretty logical to be honest. I think in this uh, Ringmaster's Wagon, this is definitely the one to go for. Bigger should be getting in more money, magnifying glass, bigger areas, equipment wagon, additional cards, no cookhouse, new recipes might be good, but that's pretty expensive to be honest. Lowers the price of ingredients for 400 US dollars, I don't know how well that's going to pay off. Training, we should always leave enough money for them to train. Allow you to reroll once. That would have been interesting. Upgraded cars, charge of firing. Well, you know, none of these are necessary right now. Okay, so the way I look at it is Artist Wagon. Okay, no. Where's the recruiting wagon? None of these were very good. I mean, her cars were not that good. Sunny scars are not that good, but otherwise everything else is pretty interesting. Increase the focus received by the artist. Who receives focus? Artist ignore abilities decrease the use time. Well, actually, none of them are good. Okay, you know, first let's look at the map. We have to go for this train heist. So I'm gonna go here. Can I travel randomly? Hey! Okay, no, so two meals required. That makes sense. Let's see, we need two meals, right? Uh, actually, make it three. We have to go to Santa Fe there too. Where's the cookhouse? Hey, cookhouse, what food do we have? We just have a goddamn apple and one meat. Apple meat? Is there anything like that? 
Let's see, we need three meals. Let's look at what we have. Potato omelette, eggs for 12, and potatoes for 15, well, makes sense. Red bean stew is the cheapest at two, gives us some nutrition benefits. I think we should definitely get one meal out of this. Okay, so we are at 5 and minus 3, right? Let's see. 5 and minus 2 and minus 1. I'm not sure how beneficial this is. We got apple, we just need one bread. So let's buy that and keep this. So apple bread and red bean stew. Red bean stew. Boiled potatoes. Minus 1, 5, minus 2. This would make sense, but we don't have potatoes. 15 US dollars for potatoes? You gotta be kidding me. Warm milk, 2, 2, minus 2. What's the milk like? Milk is even cheaper over here. Some places are so expensive. Salted meat. We have 2 meat. Oh, we've got 1 meat. This does 1, minus 2, 5. So, no, I need the health up. Ham sandwich, we just need one bread. Let's make sense. Let's buy a bread and put a ham sandwich. So, on this journey, what we shall be having as we go to rob the pastor's train, we shall be having red bean stew and a ham sandwich. And very soon, we'll be getting an apple bread. 11 to 10, 3 to minus 2. Nutrition gets more minus 2 later on, huh? so that this is not uh, well made for nutrition, I guess. Let's do this for now, like this. Gonna have the ham sandwich later. Let's travel, please. I want to see how is it that we rob a damn train with a circus troop. When the pastor's train stops at one of the stations, you and your team of exceptional artists get on it quickly. You find the pastor without a problem. He dedicated a whole wagon just for himself. I mean, when he's, when they say just for himself, they mean his entire troop too. If you manage to distract him long enough, Uncle Jack will be able to sneak about and find the code to the safe where Cinnabar's land deed is stashed. Circus? God, I love the circus. Are you selling tickets? My pastor, we are here to perform for you. No, we're here to give you a show of your lifetime. Oh, that's my boy. Marvelous. Go on then. Okay. Not suspecting a thing. Now is your chance. Okay, so we are definitely going to have to keep the illusionist. Sorry, the fakir. I don't know why they're not taking us the illusionist. Uh, Fakir was in place of the strongman, so we can take the juggler and should we take the clown? I'm, I'm really favoring the illusionist nowadays. Misfit is the lizardman and finale is unicycle. The finale is pretty awesome. Okay, let's go for the show. Okay, these new common cards are actually interesting and increase the playability of it. I mean, otherwise. Uh, I mean, this is new. This wasn't there, to be honest. Plus three in, in impress, huh? Extra impress, stash three, vanish. Stash warp. Wow. Three impress added, huh? What's this? What effect is this? Extra sneering. Sneering is increased by one each time the ignore card is played. So we should try and ignore very less as much as possible. Ignore, surprise, uh, you know what, first let's send out a cherry picker, hit him for 8. <laughs> surprise, here come the radium girls. Uh, draw one and vanish and again draw one, okay I can't do it immediately. Ignore, oh come on, these are just giving me ignores, give me an attack. I need to hit at him. 
extra hands draw one. Wow, oh, we're really going through our stash pretty fast. Here come hearts handcuffs. Okay, we need at least five, if not for all. Okay, this gets on somebody. This is only on him. Affects all each trick in hand. You know, zero, we've got no tricks in hand. So, you know what? Let's add this. And actually, let's do this. Ignore four for everybody so that they just get one hit each. Okay, let's impress him a bit. Impress for four? How's that? Oh, he's got one there. Doubles the impress. I guess. They're sending rockets right at him. The posture. He's a stubborn man. A serious man, to be honest. 26. Hey, did it go down then? I, I don't think it did. Sneer 6. Ignore card is played. Okay, yes, we did play the ignore once. Okay, so let's end this turn. So that's not bad. Everyone just took two damage. That's fine. Next three tricks played will add a random trick to the deck. Buried alive. Makes sense, right? It's going to do 10 damage to the Fakir. Affects all. Ignore X where X is twice the number of cards in the hand. Well, we do need this right now. Wait, how do we add more cards to the hand right now? There are no tricks in our hand too. We just got one juggling ball. Affects all, ignore X. Okay, we get 4 into 2. 8. We get 8 ignore and we are going to take 5 ignore on everyone. So, I think we should do this. 6 into 2 is 12. So, this dude is going to take 12 plus 5. Uh, that is... 17. 17 damage with just 10 protection. I need more protection. Ignore 1, but that would make it 7. 7 twos are 14. So basically, how much was it? 12. From 12 it goes to 14 and we get 5 more, so I think that's a good deal. What happened? Hey, come on. I know what I just played. Ignore 5, stash 1, juggling ball. What happened to that 5 ignore? Why didn't he get it? Hey, come on. This is cheating, brah. I swear, th th this is cheating. So look at this, ignore 5, stash 1, juggling ball. That's what we did, we did the tsunami. Well, can't do anything about it. We're all going to take quite a bit of hits. Oh no, it, it's come, it's come. 15 has come, thank god for that. But did it? Did it? It didn't. I don't think it did. Okay, he's going to heal himself for 15. This is their boredom. How can we get him out before he reaches that? We get 26. I can get 15 from here. How do I get 11 more impress? Uh, impress 6. We could try this. Impress 10. We get... Okay, that's amazing actually. Let's hit it. Get... Now let's impress on 15 more so that we just left with one. One boredom. Boom. Uh, surprise, ignore. Oh, come on. Unleash all juggling balls. Impress four for each ball removed. We are impressing him for 24. This is overkill, but hey, I like making a statement. <laughs> That went well.
Okay, the jugglers gone up. I don't know why these dudes aren't getting any uh, XP. This is pretty weird. Probably a bug. Uncle Jack, uh, sorry, spectacular success. While the pastor is focusing on your extraordinary employees, Uncle Jack manages to find a scrap of paper with a safe code written down on it. It says 82736. Okay. You and the rest of your team go to the dining wagon where the police are guarding the safe compartment. God damn you. You scared us. Father Stan, there's no need to be worried. Who are? Wait, is that a chicken? Yes, Father, it's a chicken. Okay, we have to play the chicken now, I believe. Wait, where's the chicken? I had seen uh, images where we could play with play the chicken as one of our people. Okay, but we have the illusionist compulsivity and let's check the strongman and the juggler. Yeah. That's it's showtime. Father Stan and Father Emmett. Now they did tell us to be uh, complacent of these dudes, but I don't think we should. Look at this. Ignore boost. Beginning of turn upon impress action. The spectators ignore is changed by three. Such a Okay, affects all, sneer 3, unleash all, no, truck flip, extra ignore, stash 3. Uh, what? Ignore 7, surprise 2, here from handcuffs, impress 2, stash 1. Not sure of any of these. This is a cherry picker, is a very bad idea in this situation. For that matter, even the handcuffs are. Beginning of turn upon impress action, the spectators ignore is changed by 3. This is not at all beneficial for me. So probably the first round he takes hits. I don't know. Is there any way we can get uh, a little ignore on everyone? Let's try it out. So he's got a uh, three there. Let's hit him again and see what happens. But he did take the first hit, yeah? Wait, I didn't see how much he got. Okay, his thing has gone up and he's taken no damage, right? So the small ones should not be used at all at all okay let's add some ignore on her how do we impress i don't know what i'm doing anyway i think let's end this this is a bad situation oh shit she's frozen I didn't see that. I thought it was just... Oh, he's going to freeze her some more. He's now 5, but it will have... Next 3 tricks played will add random tricks to the deck. Okay, so the illusionist is actually a bad uh, play right now. You can't use this because of her... I mean, that's sad. It's a zero card, which is really amazing and we can't use it. Oops, all ignore six. Where was this last turn? Okay, I'm just not being able to figure out how we can get out of this. Hmm. You know what? Let's ignore. Ignore six, everyone. And smash a rock. We've got. Six. How much is this? Six, six, twelve, twelve to eighteen, ten. So you can impress somebody for ten. And this is better than nothing. But this is just five. This was twenty, and half of it was ten. Oh come on, dude! 
change his interest by two. So why didn't that happen? Unleash ignore impress one for every two ignore the move. So technically, technically that was ten. Ten plus another two years so would have been twelve, but it's still thirty-three from thirty-eight or thirty-five. I don't know. Okay, we can't do anything. Let's end. He's still going to freeze her again. Oh, this unleashed only his ignore, from what I could understand. Not everyone's ignore. That would have been fun, to be honest. Mm, how is it at four? Okay, this dude is higher. Everyone is going to attack for three. Ignore two for each trick in hand. How many tricks do we have in hand? Ignore zero. None of them are tricks. Uh, we could throw out two surprises. We've got two surprises in hand. Throw this one out too. Let's see. Let's try the table of death now. Ignore 10 for all. Well, they're just attacking us for 3. Oh, wow. Extra impress. Dash 1 and vanish. I do need it on her. Extra impress, dash one and vanish. Okay, I think that impress didn't reach her the last time. Impress two, I don't want to do that, but it's done. Okay, so the first hit can be taken. After that, you can't get to draw one and vanish. Do I want that to happen? Oh, we've got 10, right? So there'll be 3 plus 5, 8, and I think we're protected. Draw one and vanish. Let's hold on to that for next turn. Uh, and a deck shuffle. Oh, wow. This, this went well. Okay, so we can just get one hit in every turn so that's what has to be remembered or has to be understood with these guys uh, extra impress dash 3 and vanish okay, she's finally free we don't have any cards for her anyway let's give that to her since it's for zero uh, next three tricks played will add random trick to the deck hey i'm not going to complain for that ignore 3 and vanish uh, i'm not sure we should do that Bold alive. So now we can get one hit in for each. It's like really bad, but okay. I think we can take three hits for each of them. Okay, and let's add an ignore on somebody. Who do you want to? Who do you think gets hit the most? Probably the illusionist. Okay, so we've got more cards now. Hopefully, that will help us. She's frozen again. Will you look at that? I didn't see them do that. Okay, they're directly giving frozen flaws. This is going to be very difficult. Mm. I'm not being able to use her at all. Draw one and vanish. Draw one and vanish. Okay, we, we are at a deadlock. Ignore 2 for each trick in hand, ignore 0. I don't know. Ignore 6, huh? Wow. 
<laughs> okay, you can get one hit in. I hope we can uh, somehow find a way out of this. Okay, he got a hit. But he's got shield now. Affects all, ignore two. Okay, this is one. I won't be able to do this anyway. Hey, how is it four now? Come on. Can press three. Just get one hit in. But it's zero impress, so... Okay. The freezing our men. To attack everyone for three, can everyone take it? Yes, they can. Add additional value to the boom. Oh, they're adding this too every time. Affect all oh, spotlight, ignore nine. Uh, I'm not sure. Ignore seven. I, I need ignore on everyone. Anyway, let's try this out. <laughs> Okay, we can't use that. Impress six, cash one, juggling ball. Who do we hit for six? <laughs> He's at nine. I wonder if this would work. I don't think it would since this is an affect all spotlight. Would be interesting if he could take that entire hit. But I'm not sure whether that will happen or not. You know what? It's worth a shot. <laughs> Come on, change, dude. Just take it towards him. No, you're not going to do that. Well, I tried. Oh, well, it did work. Okay, then. 26 and 9. I want to get this dude out. ASAP, boys. Here comes Heart's Handcuffs. No, that's not gonna help. 3 attack, ignore 3, ignore 3 on 2 people, I guess. Let's protect first. Since it's 0. Ah, we should have done the truck clip first. Uh, surprise 3. Surprise me. Oh, come on. Okay, we can at least give her a heads up. What would you do with two more handcuffs? I don't know. Let's hit them both one at a time. I don't think there's anything else to do. Uh, extra ignore, stash three. Two more handcuffs, which we are not going to use right now, but we're going to use it next turn. Truck flip, so I might as well. We should have done this before, but it doesn't really matter to be honest. Okay, now let's just slap them around a bit. They say freeze like handcuffs. Okay, so next time our finale meter will be done and we can attack one of them. Let's see if we can get Father Emmett down before that. Hey, I didn't see the deck shuffle. Oh, I didn't prepare for that. Okay, unleash all juggling balls. Who do we leave? She has no juggling balls as of now, so that might be a good thing to leave. Because everything else still helps. The cherry picker won't probably. Let's do the cherry picker. Choose card to scrap. Uh, I think the smasher off is the least used by me. 
Okay, we got handcuffs now. Here come the radium girls. Uh, yes, probably. Okay, I'm going to take a risk and see if we can get the random spectator we father stand. Right now I need meat. And I need to get their hit points down since they don't have heal. Oh well it was father stand. So I'm not sure whether how good that strategy was. Uh, he's right now. Let's draw one one card each probably and see what happens. Okay, what are the cards in hand? Extra hands, draw one, draw one. I'm not sure if any of these would be helpful right now. Mm. Should we just let these two vitality points go? I think not. Let's try our luck. What do we have to lose? Hmm, so many handcuffs, huh? Add random trick to the deck. Buried alive. Well, we might as well. I wish he had more tricks, you know, I swear. Handcuffs on the priest. Wait, what happened? Oh, he already got hit. I forgot. My bad. We could stash some uh, handcuffs and some impress finale counter. I think we're gonna call this finale. Yeah, I'm calling it impress constantly, and that's a mistake. Okay, it's gonna do three damage to everyone. We need some protection. Extra hands, draw one, affect all, spotlight nine. Uh, this would be perfect to be honest. Let's do that. Hey, that was a mistake. Extra hands, draw one. Let's see, impress for six, impress for twelve, and get him down probably. Father Stan is so happy with us. He's never been happier in his entire life. Father Emmett still needs some persu pers persuasion. I don't know why I fumbled at that. Okay, let's end this here and now, boys. I need more than 5 damage in one go. Ignore 5, cash 1 juggling ball. Extra impress, stash one vanish, draw one vanish. You know what? Let's add this on her, please. Draw one and vanish. I'm really hoping for some good attack cards. Impress cards. Let's use the correct term. Ignore three. It's gonna freeze her. Oh, come on. Give me something. Let's see if we can draw a few more cards. No? We can't. We just got handcuffs. We could do with one dose of handcuff for all the good it will do. You know what? I'm gonna hold on to this last ones. Even if she gets frozen, I think that's fine. It's okay. Oh, it was a deck shuffle. I did not see that. This is getting past me all the time. Table of death. I think buried alive for now. 
Father, you're done for. Pack your bags. Of a tall ignore two for each stricken hand. Ignore three and vanish. Give me one vitality. And we can now impress him for 15 father emit. I mean, what I want to figure out is how we have a tight route inside a train. How is she even doing it? I'm honestly impressed. Getting a hang of this, that's an achievement to unlock. Juggler, oh, I forgot to upgrade her. That's a mistake on my end. The priests have been dealt with, but you do not have much time. Everything is in Robbie's beak, and you just have to remember the code. 82736. You enter the safe box compartment, and there it is a big safe. Big, shiny, and steely. Robbie seems ready to do his part. <laughs> what the hell, Robbie, the safe crapper is going to perform for us. The audience is the safe. I've got to hand it to these guys. Uh, they're really impressing me. Okay, Robbie. Holy shit, I didn't see that. 8278, it was something. What are you going to do back to me? Put in the right digits, huh? 82763, what was it? What's the best way I can figure this out? 82736, that's the one. I messed it up again. 82736. Look at that, he's doing abacus. 82737. Three, six, okay, I didn't even know that I was being successful, but okay. Robbie the master safe cracker. So basically what they've done is uh, they are Christ recommending almighty. the next Finally. one. We got Two, the damn deed. The first one. That's actually good. I mean, it, it, that's good design. You and your troop of uh, outlaws are about to leave the train as the pasture approaches you, wanting to thank you once again, oblivious that you have stolen something very precious from him. Fantastic performance. Amazing. I want to repay you somehow. How would you do that, Pastor? I know. Give me that chicken. I shall bless it. May you all find happiness in this world. No, Pastor. Now all that's left is giving the good news to the mayor of Cinnabar. Well, that was episode 6. You can check out episode 7 from the link in the top right corner of your screen or check out the entire playlist from the link in the description below. So, ladies and gents, this is The Amazing American Circus. The newly released a deck builder by Clabeter and Juggler Games, which gives a unique bohemian twist to the genre. You play as a ringmaster who is keeping his father's legacy alive by running the circus and traveling across the American countryside, putting up shows in every town and impressing the different kinds of audiences you meet. Be warned though, the audience have high standards and will constantly be trying to break your focus. Impress them enough that they take their seats by utilizing the unique abilities of the many performers you can hire as you tour the countryside. The game features fully voice acted interactions and side quests which give you unique rewards such as a highly intelligent chicken who happens to be a math wizard. Seriously, where would you find such gems in AAA games? The game has party management elements too, such as training your performers, investing in advertisement to boost the turnout for your show, deciding what to feed your circus as you travel, and removing negative traits from your performers with the help of voodoo. 
The game also features multiple soundtracks that really weave the magic of a gypsy life. And if you've ever wanted to be part of the circus, then this is your chance to experience what circus life would be like. The game has just released and you can check out their Steam page from the link given in the description below. If you're still on the fence and would like to know more, then I invite you to check out my Let's Play video on the game from the link on the top right corner of your screen. If you enjoyed this video, then smash that like button and consider subscribing to my channel so that you can discover new and exciting games. This is Ashes Bashes signing off. Until next video, game on.